I think we just discovered a huge vulnerability in one of the strongest units in this game. Like, if the Berserker can do that again, if he can close the distance, get right up close between those bows and just press nips on nips, then he's invulnerable. She can't shoot him! There's no way she can win! This is a $6,500 unit versus a $300 unit, I think? And there's absolutely nothing she can do! That's ridiculous! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we've got more combat battles. Wait, by popular demand, I'm gonna continue facing off against the armies that you guys have been leaving in the comments of past episodes, but this video should be a little different, because now you guys have access to four modded units. We've got a couple of new gods in Thor and Apollo, as well as a couple of new warriors in Ronin and the Champion. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have come up with. We begin with Holy Suck, 45 vampires in a circle and five priests. I give you guys Thor, right? Son of Odin, ruler of Asgard, thunder god, and you set me up for suck jokes. Okay, technically, I've never seen a vampire and a priest coincide. I have no idea how this is gonna work, so consider me interested. I always wanna see new stuff in tabs. And I've also been really curious for a long time, can vampires fly? We know that they can turn into bats and lunge at us, but while they're in their human suckage form, if we grab them with a balloon or and take off, would they fall to their death? I have no idea. I'm, I'm thinking we might be able to just fill this ring with ballooners. Oh my god, that's probably too many ballooners, to be perfectly honest. 110 ballooners! It should be fine, right? I I'm sure my computer won't explode. Oh. Oh, they're getting sucked in the air? No! I forgot how much of a spectacle having an entire army of ballooners is. It's like a Chinese paper lantern festival. They all take off and then when they get too high, they drop. Except in this case, you get a meaty thud at the end. Oh, this isn't good. A couple of vampires survived and if any vampire survives, that's a huge problem. Right? The ballooners can't exactly go more than once. They're a one-pump stump kind of guy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever stopped to actually take a look at their vampire form, but it's glorious. The gods are displeased. One of every single god in the game. So we've got Thor, god of thunder, Apollo, god of poetry, Zeus, god of thunder, Awkward. Uller, god of sport, and Artemis, god of the hunt. I don't know if there are any more gods in the game. Like, is the Scarecrow a god? Is the Grim Reaper a god? Is Holy Snuffy a god? There's a lot of debate around these topics, but we'll just stick to these five, okay? That is more than enough. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to beat them. I'm gonna try to use Ice Archers as my main attack. If we can freeze them, then we'll be a whole lot better off, but I'm gonna need a lot of dummies up front that can hopefully survive for a little while. Spartans are pretty good at that, right? We could even call in a couple of mythological creatures, right? A couple of minotaurs might be able to help, and what if we tried some giants? Can I afford a nice giant? Uh, I can't, I gotta get a tree giant. That's like the dollar store version of a nice giant. All right, Broccoli Jesus, get in there. You just whack Thor away. Oh my, there's so much happening at once. Like, each god just has so much going on. And I don't think we're freezing them at all. They don't seem to be slowing down. Oh, oh no. We're kind of, we're kind of freezing them. Artemis isn't moving a whole lot. She'd normally be rapid firing right now. Okay. Didn't see Thor on the back lines. <laughs> Pretty sure he just backflipped his way into our assholes. I should have just assumed that beating a pantheon of gods wouldn't be easy, but maybe I can try using all the wannabe gods? What if we get a couple of holy snuffies in there? We can back them up with some scarecrows? <laughs> yeah. This will really set the tone, you know? We'll see who is and who isn't a god. The Monkey King? Yeah, we get a couple of them. Who else wants to be a god? 
I'm running a little low. Pirate queen? Sure, why not? Slay queen, you can be a god all you want. Get in there, holy snuffy. <laughs> See, Thor bounce off his fat ass is just hilarious. Oh, okay, well the monkey kings are going ham. They are really trying their best to keep Thor tied up. Oh, they got him. He may have shocked himself in the heart. Worth it, totally worth it. That was all the illusions crap. I thought we were really on to something there. <laughs> These stupid scarecrows are useless. Maybe we can just smush them? Like, I know technically a lot of gods have made names for themselves by slaying giants, but maybe it's time for the giants to slay. <laughs> we can get a couple of red hot ice giants in there. Okay, I know the money isn't technically even, but if you don't care, I don't care. And if you care, I still don't care. Because let's be honest, this is still not fair. Like, they're all gonna crowd around Thor because he's the brawler. He's not gonna die, I can guarantee that much. And everyone else is just gonna keep pelting them. But Apollo is backing away. He's overpowered, okay? That's a real problem. <laughs> not even close. I completely forgot about the number one wannabe god. And he's actually kind of cheap, right? Like, we could get half a dozen or more of these guys charging in there. I like it. Okay, hey, you know what, Grim? It's time to stop working for the gods and instead start working over the gods. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> nope, no, that is not what you wanna see. I think we all know how this battle is supposed to be won. Okay, I didn't wanna resort to it right away. I wanted to have a little bit of fun. I've had my fun getting curb stomped. So let's just get the ballistas in there, the god killers as we call them, because I would imagine they can one-shot all of them. I can even get enough of them that we can have a second firing squad. That's probably more than enough. Right, some of them are gonna die, but if any of them get a shot off, then they should kill everybody. Okay, we got everybody but Apollo. So as long as he can't reload as fast as you know, we missed, we missed Thor, that's a Bro, that's a pro. Wait, what? Thor took a ballista shot in the knee and he didn't die. Oh, that's. Are you serious? That's two ballista shots. What is this guy made out of? This is impossible. Please, please kill him. Kill. Kill him. Is he dead? Oh, he's super dead, right? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's face down in the dirt. Wonderful. Now, just line up Apollo and everything. <laughs> Thing will be fine. We won. I think they shot him through the wall. Yeah, they shot him so hard that he clipped through the wall and fell to his death. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Screw these gods. It's everybody's favorite Raptor Jesus. <laughs> One Raptor and 12 priests. I can safely say that I never thought this would be something coming out of my mouth, but what do we use to beat Raptor Jesus? What counters Raptor Jesus? We could go with something like bomb on a stick, but that doesn't feel very flavorful. Oh, we should go with skeleton warriors, right? Because Jesus knows a thing or two about coming back from the dead, so maybe the dead can send him back. <laughs> we can afford a lot of skeletons. Okay, this may or may not be Fair? It wasn't fair. <laughs> Give him three days, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, the priests don't do that much. This one isn't really a combat battle because people were recommending both sides of the fight, but a lot of people wanted to see a comparison between the tornado size of Blackbeard and the tornado size of Red Jade. And I'm really hoping that they won't kill each other immediately. Can you guys just wind up and see who's biggest? That was cool. They combined to make one mega tornado there for a second, but I think Lady Red Jade won. Yeah, she took that down pretty handedly. How about the Tornado Tribe? Three May Spinners, two Da Vinci Tanks, two Blackbeards, one Lady Red Jade with cheerleaders on them all. I honestly don't care if I beat this army. Like, I just want to see that many different kinds of tornadoes on screen at once. And it's not going to be easy because they kind of just jump into battle and don't rev up. 
Hey, Blackbeard just hops in there and then he dies. He doesn't turn into a tornado at any point. The tank's hanging back, so they get revved up by the cheerleaders, and now we get to see them grind up against Snuffy and make the world's weirdest, fuzziest, cannoniest baby. <laughs> we only got the tank tornadoes. Oh no! We got a little, little tiny mace spinner tornado. Isn't he adorable? It's just impossible. I, I've tried many, many times to make it work to get all the tornadoes on screen at once, and they just die. The cheerleaders are just crap. The bombing of your computer. You are surrounded. 30 bombs on a stick, followed by 10 bomb throwers and 5 bomb cannons. I don't think mankind has ever come up with a good strategy against high-grade explosives, but I'm gonna try something a little outside of the box. Hear me out. We're gonna go with clams, because they're hilarious. <laughs> We are gonna get blown the hell up. I can guarantee it, but it's gonna be worth it. Hopefully Why did I make you guys so compact? I should have spread you out now You're just gonna get tossed into a salad. Oh my god. The cannons hit friendly <laughs> Oh, I still lost. Oh, you stupid clams Disappointing for sure, but not a complete write-off. Okay, we learned that there are some Judases around the outside that'll help us out when we need it. We just need to survive until then, right? We need a better strategy. I said that mankind hasn't come up with a good strategy against high explosives, but maybe dinosaurs did? Like, you don't know, you're not a dinosaur. And I know what you're thinking. It's a little cheap to put them right up against the edge, but guess what? I'm gonna fill this circle, so it's gonna be unavoidable. In fact, I would be surprised if I can do anything but fill this circle. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use all my money. I'm gonna run out of space before I run out of cash. Okay, that's fine. I, I think that should work. <gasps> right? Who's alive? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, there's always that moment of question. Jesus Christ, it's a feeding frenzy. <laughs> like, there's a few seconds when you aren't sure who's a derpy broken dinosaur and who's just flailing from the explosion before they fall dead. We can do it. You're surrounded by every female unit in the game. There are a shocking number of women in this game. You would think they're all just formless Gumbies, but they're there. We've got Artemis, who is an entire army in herself. We've got the cheerleader, which I think is a safe bet to be a woman. Right, there are male cheerleaders, but they don't usually wear skirts or dresses or whatever you want to call it. We've got Taekwondo, who's going to high kick me right in the nads, I have no doubt. Bomb on a stick. Surprisingly has titties. Probably a woman. Long ponytail. You wouldn't think that a woman would be dumb enough to run around with a lit bomb on a stick, but here we are. We've got the Pirate Queen, who is literally heads taller than pretty much everything else in this game. Kinda terrifying. Uh, Snuffy! You know, some Snuffies are male, some Snuffies are female. Where do you think Snuffies come from? <laughs> this Snuffy is female. With a harvester, who is just the bane of my existence, a Valkyrie, who were women in mythology. It seems reasonable. We've got the dragon pole holders, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if the dragon is a woman, but I can't really split them up. <laughs> the clam, because women jam out with their clam out. There's a decent enough reason, okay? I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and Lady Red Jade, for obvious reasons. I'm just gonna say it right now, we are gonna get smoked. <laughs> they have such a wide range of units and some really strong ones. So much so that I kind of wanna get Thor. Maybe we can make our own super manly squad, right? We could have a, a chieftain and uh, a, a farmer. They're super manly. Maybe uh, a king? Yeah, I like the idea of that. What else have we got? Oh, Minotaur, he's real beefy. And a Spartan, good. And, and Zeus, of course. Zeus is the manliest of men. Uh, brawlers and berserkers and yarls. <laughs> if you say anything like this, it's super manly. <gasps> Monk and a ninja. How are we doing money-wise? Not too, too bad. Halberd? Sure, why not? Oh, oh, yeah, we gotta get the captain in there. Oh, captain, my captain. Uh, a vampire, right? They seduce. That's that's sort of manly, kind of, maybe. And the Reaper, because I, I don't care. Screw it, go! 
<laughs> I have no idea what's happening right now. There's so much going on. Whoa. Did you guys see that? That berserker was... That berserker was right up in Artemis' grill and she was firing off in all directions but not able to hit him. That was flawless. Way to go, guys! I think we just discovered a huge vulnerability in one of the strongest units in this game. Like, if the berserker can do that again, if he can close the distance, get right up close between those bows and just press nips on nips, then he's invulnerable. She can't shoot him. There's no way she can win. This is a $6,500 unit versus a $300 unit, I think. And there's absolutely nothing she can do. That's ridiculous. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. It's really good battles this time, but I wanted to mention that next episode is going to be on Christmas Day, and I've got a big announcement. Okay, I, I can't talk about it right now. It's super top secret, but definitely tune in Christmas Day. You're not going to want to miss it. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.